Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Joyce and I'm here with another video for you guys. So in one of my other videos, somebody commented that I should do a video talking about how I have been dealing with this pandemic. So that is why I'm here to do the video. So that is to let you know that you guys should comment your video suggestions and video ideas down below because I like making videos for you guys so I, I would actually like to know what you guys want to see. So yeah, okay, let's get into the video now. So how have I been dealing with this pandemic? The fact is that this pandemic has obviously affected everyone in one way or the other. Wherever you are, whoever you are, you've, you've been affected. And I just hope that you guys are staying safe and trying, you know, your best to cope with this situation. So before I get into the video, you guys should comment down below how you guys have been coping, what have you been doing to keep yourself busy and things like that and I would obviously respond to your comments. I've been out of school since March 10 and I've been home since March 13 and because of the way our school system is set up and because of the population of my school it was very difficult to set up the online platform because it wasn't convenient for everybody and the school obviously had to take that into consideration so now it's july actually work in my lab resumed um in june mid-june but i haven't been able to return to school because i stay in the dorm and right now they are not letting students who left the dorm during the lockdown to return because they are trying to keep those who stayed in the dorm safe. So to an extent, I can understand why they wouldn't want to let us back into the dorm even though I do have you know, some reservations, but to a greater extent, I understand. Right now I'm trying to find accommodation around my school and things like that just so I could resume my research in the lab. But I must say that having family in the Philippines has obviously made things a bit easier for me because I do have a home to return to which is not too far from school, which is just about four hours. So immediately they announced the lockdown the day after I left and I came home so obviously I can be a, a bit more relaxed you know eat good food and well taken care of so looking at the general population of international students here in the Philippines more specifically African international students here in the Philippines because that is what I can relate to being Nigerian I can understand that it must be difficult for many of you who don't have a home to go to like you're in a foreign country all you know is you know going to school and maybe you have your own apartment and you're just like stuck there so it may be a bit hard so I can understand and I do hope you guys are coping so the first thing I did when I realized that this lockdown was going to be extended I looked for online jobs because your girl was out here trying to make some money so the one I did get was an online writing job where you write papers for people it didn't pay a lot not at all and for me I don't think um, the money was worth the work that I put into it because it was a lot of work but anyways that's what I was doing for a while I made a couple of dollars on there but as time went on it was more difficult to get jobs because okay you, you may not necessarily get jobs that are writing jobs that pertain to your field but i would say that from the few papers i did write i learned a lot so i would say that while making change because the money was like little i did gain knowledge so maybe it was worth it to an extent so in my spare time also during this um whole pandemic thing i've been working on the literature review aspect of my thesis so that keeps me busy as well so starting on my youtube channel was like an issue just because i wanted to be consistent and that's why i didn't start it up at the beginning of the lockdown but i'm happy with how i've been doing so far at least i've been consistent and i've been giving you guys content and also talking about my youtube channel i really wanted to start the procrastinator series which is a series i started for fun 
I have uploaded episode one. You could check it out in the cards here. So right now, I don't know if I should continue it or if I would put my energy into that because I put a lot of effort into it and nobody really watched it. Maybe you guys just don't like that kind of content. And like I said, let me know in the comments section down below what other videos you would like me to do. Uh, and yeah, that's about it, I believe. That was supposed to be a British accent, but I don't think I got it right. Nope. So, till my next video. Bye.